Hello, good evening. Hundreds of people have been marching through the streets of Exeter to protest over plans to cut community hospital beds in Devon. Health commissioners say the changes will improve health and care services. With more details, here's Jane. Determined to be heard. They marched. Beds have already gone in Avonseaton. The beds that are in Seaton, the beds that are in Honiton, but the Honiton beds are definitely going to be cut under this plan. So without them? We don't know how they're going to manage without them. There isn't the care in place. Care companies are closing down and failing to deliver care. They haven't recruited people. We're worried that people won't be able to manage at home on their own. There's a lot of elderly people at end of life or who need treatment every day. It can't be done at home, it cannot be done at home. And people live in rural areas where care starts. To show they were seeing red over the cuts, because they say time's running out. The deadline for the public to express a view is January the 6th. The new Devon Seat Review, where significant changes proposed, are going to be consulting widely with staff, unions, clinicians and the public. Jane Chandler, BBC Spotlight, Exeter. Police are appealing for witnesses following a crash near Exeter in which a man in his 50s died. It happened at around 7 o'clock last night on the A30 eastbound near the Fingal Glen Junction. The man had been travelling in a green Honda Civic car. People are being urged to shop locally around the region and help small businesses to compete in the lead up to Christmas. Saturday, traders say many people opt for the big stalls without considering their local independent shops. As much as people like to shop in bigger places, they also want to live in places that have got atmosphere things going on. You can't get the same range in a